expensive alternative means of ventilating compost heaps. This involves placing ventilation domes in the heap at defined regular intervals. The waste can be dumped directly beside the dome. Here too, a wheel loader is used for piling the heaps. As soon as a section of the heap reaches a height of roughly four meters, a cover layer of biological filter material is applied. Then, the base is prepared for the installation of the supply air ducts, spaced at the prescribed intervals. This type of construction and aerator configuration ensures a good supply of atmospheric oxygen to all parts of the heap. It requires no base course of structural material as the ventilating elements automatically draw atmospheric oxygen into the compost heap. Finally, the dome is extended to its ultimate height and fixed in place. When the heap under the first dome has reached its full height and received a cover layer of biological filter material, the next dome is set up at the prescribed distance from the first one. This way, a whole field of windrow heaps can be completed one after the other. Steam rising from the heaps attests to good air circulation. The course of aerobic decomposition can be monitored by continuously measuring the temperature and gas composition. This approach requires no watering of the compost heaps. Unlike non-mobile compost heaps, semi-mobile heaps are not fitted with ventilating elements. Instead, the oxygen required for the biological decomposition process is provided by turning the heaps at regular intervals. In Germany, this task is performed using mobile turning equipment. The proper moisture level is maintained by adding process water to the heap each time it is turned. Each heap is two meters high at the most and triangular in shape. Apart from the outdoor kind of composting heaps, composting can also be performed in mobile heaps situated in fully enclosed composting bays. Indoor composting heaps are piled three to four meters high. Their length and width depend largely on the size of the bay and the nature of the turning equipment. The optimal moisture content is maintained by regularly adding as much process water as required. In the course of one complete composting cycle, as the heaps are turned again and again, the material wanders through the entire bay. Diverse types of equipment are used for turning the heaps. Such composting processes are fully automated and therefore involve a lot of very expensive control technology and machinery. In Germany, this constitutes the most expensive waste processing option and is therefore most suitable for handling large volumes of waste. All indoor mobile composting processes are characterized by active, forced ventilation. Atmospheric oxygen is either pressed into the heat from below through a slatted floor or drawn in from above. 
The odorous fumes from the natural decomposition process are collected, scrubbed and neutralized in a biological filter. Shredded bark is the most commonly employed filtering material. The fully automated, optimized mobile composting process takes only about 12 weeks. A simple, non-mobile, outdoor heat composting process can take as long as 12 months. Rescreening of the treated waste marks the end of the aerobic biological treatment process. The composted material is carried off and loaded into mobile drums for screening directly at the landfill. The finely screened material serves as biological filter material for new heaps. The somewhat coarser biologically stabilized fraction can be placed in the landfill. The final residue is not amenable to further mechanical biological treatment and is disposed of in Germany in some other way. It can also be deposited in the landfill. The screening process does not necessarily have to produce three fractions. Even if screening only produces two fractions, the first fraction can be used as a biofilter. The screen residue, that is the second fraction, can be deposited in the landfill. At the end of biological treatment, the waste is placed on the landfill and compacted. First, it is spread out in thin layers and then compressed by a compactor. Compost heaps on the landfill can also be compacted by a dozer. However, mechanical biological treatment decisively alters the properties of the waste, so the use of a compactor is not always really necessary. In comparison to conventional forms of disposal, mechanical biological waste treatment has considerable advantages. Recyclable materials can be won from the waste, for example, biofilter material. The biological stabilization of the waste fraction which is deposited in the landfill is an effective and relatively inexpensive way to reduce landfill emissions such as methane and leachate, to lower the waste volume by at least 50% and, in general, to reduce the burden on our environment.